Okay, so I have here a pig heart. And this is for, um, in the circulatory lab, this is the dissection of the mammalian pig heart that starts on page 127, right? And it goes to pages 128 and 129. So I am no expert, and this pig heart is not as beautiful as, let's say, this model of a heart, which I did take some pictures of and we'll include somewhere. So this is nice and firm and you can take it apart, right? You can pull this off. And you can check out all the chambers inside. You can clearly see like, oh, okay, it's painted blue. So this is my pulmonary arteries going that way. So these are taking deoxygenated blood, the blue ones, to the lungs. Um, up here, this is your anterior, I think vena cava, right? So this would be the, where the blood enters, your uh, right atria, which is over here, which then empties into the right ventricle, which then pumps blood up through here to your pulmonary artery out to your lungs. And then when the blood comes back from the lungs, it goes in through these. These are your, I believe, pulmonary veins. It pushes it through the left atria to the left ventricle and you can see how thick the wall of the heart is here, and then pushes that blood when it contracts up through your aorta and out towards your whole body, okay? So I have an actual heart, and you're gonna see that it's a whole lot harder to find all those bits on a real heart as opposed to a pretend plastic heart. So, and try to get the camera focused down here and do it this way. So this, I'm pretty positive. This is the same view of the heart that you see this way, right? Looking at it like that. You can even see there's all these probably veins and arteries running into it, mostly probably arteries. And if you turn it around, there's a similar shape, but as you turn it around, you'll notice there's these big, huge holes. There's a big hole that goes into the heart, and here's another hole. These are on this side. This is actually the, I'm pretty sure this is the aorta. So this is the um, valve, if not even a valve. It's like the tube, the giant tube, that is going to carry oxygenated blood from your left ventricle, which if I pull this up, you'll just see the left ventricle here is huge. Look how thick the, the wall of the heart is on that side. And it's going to push the blood from here uh, back out to the body, right? I can actually put my, my finger through there, see? That might be a little gross, but that's generally speaking what you're after. Whereas on this side, there's this white, uh, it looks almost like a white straw, a big fat white straw. That is your, I'm fairly certain that's, it's either your pulmonary artery. Oh wait, no, there's two of them here. Now I can see. There's one that's a little bit more on top of the heart. There's one here. That one feeds into the right ventricle. So this is your um, anterior vena cava. And I'm pretty sure this is actually goes out to your, this one, I think it might be your pulmonary artery, the one that carries the blood out to your um, two lungs. So you can, I guess I'm holding the heart the wrong way. So this big one, I'm pretty sure this is your pulmonary artery. There's a smaller one here. This is your anterior vena cava. Because this one heads straight down into your right ventricle. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Whoa! And there's your right ventricle. So this wasn't dissected terribly well, but that, there you go. I'm going to open it up just a little bit more on this. Uh, this is actually, it might seem like I'm referring to things incorrectly, but try to remember how I told you that this is actually the left side of the heart. Like you have to imagine if you took this heart and stuck it in your chest, this would be facing outwards. 
the front of the heart. So this is the left side. This is left. This is right. I know. This is a, probably slightly larger than my actual heart, though, because if this is the size of my fist, this is a little bigger. It's a pig heart, though. They're bigger animals. So I was going to say I can try to dissect up, but a lot of the tissue got uh, destroyed at the butcher, butcher shop, especially there's these valves that separate your atria, which are up here from the actual um, ventricles, which are down here. But one thing you can see, here's like a not so beat up section. This is of the right ventricle, and this is the left ventricle. See how thin this is compared to this? And remember, the reason the left ventricle is so thick is because it has that gigantic job of having to contract every time it squishes shut, it has to push all that oxygenated blood out to the whole entire body. Whereas this right ventricle, which is so much thinner, only has to squish blood to the lungs that are right behind the heart, right? Which is kind of cool. You can sort of kind of make out the valves on the left side here, this white tissue. I don't know how easy it is to see that right here. But again, it's a little beat up. You can definitely see there's all of these, this like connective tissue in here holding the heart together. Ooh, and there's all kinds of little veins and pockets in here where I'm sure there's all kinds of other things feeding in and out. But that's the rough, rough anatomy of a pig's heart. <laughs>